Hi Cancer, it's L here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, how you're coming to the reading is, um, oh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, okay, coffin, all right, and sudden well. Um, this reduces to a 10, then 11. Something is sequential. It's going in order. Sequence. Um, something ended and now it's going to be a new beginning. Something that's lucky for you. It's something um, that you've manifested or someone else manifested. Somebody manifested an ending. And it could have been you, Cancer. Okay? Or someone manifested an ending, new beginning. So some, somebody wanted something to end and then uh, begin again here. Okay? Or begin something else with someone else. Um This also could be an ending, and then there, somebody used their words and they ended a connection here, and it took somebody to a, the place of imprisonment where they felt like they were just they they were bound or they were tied to something. They thought about something over and over again, but they knew that they had to do something to get out of this imprisonment. It's a, it's almost as you know imprisonment of the mind. It also could be someone being in a relationship that they don't want to be in. Um, they feel like it is prison. It is hell. Um, so this, this reduces to 11 also 11, 11. I don't know. It's like somebody here. Um, it's almost as if somebody gave somebody an ultimatum or they said something or they, you know, it, it shifted the energy into where somebody felt like what they need to do is sacrifice something else. So they have to do something. They have to make some move. Cancer. Um, somebody could have done this to you or you did this with, with someone else. Your words uh, cause great effect or somebody's words cause great you know, effect in your life um, to where now it either took you to a place of being imprisoned or knowing that you are in prison or vice versa, or knowing that you want to manifest uh, this person back, or you want this person in your life here. Um, you could be dealing with an older man, younger woman type of situation here, uh, or you guys could be the same age, I just heard same age, or somebody is in a relationship where they feel stuck, okay, because there are other people involved here, and they could be the older man with stuck with the younger woman here. Um, some of you ended something and you walked right into better, into better health, better wealth. Um, that could also be that some of you just gave somebody an ultimatum and you kind of told them, if you don't do, if this is not happening, if I don't see, then it is over. It is done. It's a no go. Somebody also said, you know, let's be friends. Or, or they close the door or their words if they did not say those words their words closed the door nailed the coffin shut to where now somebody is trying to manifest you back cancer or you trying to manifest them back because they feel in prison stuck confined bound without you without your energy um how your person is coming to the reading cancer and this is and this also could be vice versa too your person is coming to the reading as gift and wealthy man. So maybe this wealthy man feels like they just need to give you something. They need to give you a gift. They have an abundance of. So it's nothing for them to do that for you. Um, you may feel like you need to protect yourself against this person. Also, um, for some of you, your person may... Some woman may feel like all she has to do is give you, you know her gift you know a type of gift I'm talking about and then you know she'll be back in your good graces um but it, it says that um somebody needs to protect themselves because somebody is highly manipulative here your person is coming to the reading as um something happened around the the 
the seventh or the eighth month of this year. We're still in the eighth month. Um, gift here. Something is... Um, Someone could have given you a gift, an apology also, or your person uh, is coming or seeing that they need an apology or they're trying to make an apology to you. Somebody feels like, your person feels like um, they, they're arm candy or a gift or a trophy to you, Cancer. And they feel like they need to protect themselves against you, okay? Um, because this is not the energy that they want. Somebody feels like someone is very materialistic, very worldly, um, just no spiritual bone in their body. Somebody is after somebody's money. Someone is trying to, um, because there's a third party here. Somebody's trying to shut a third party out here. Somebody's trying to end a cycle here. Um, and, they, and they feel like they need to protect themselves they need to burn candles and wear crystals um, because they want this cycle to be over somebody has banned or is trying to ban an energy here this is how your person is coming to the reading it could be your person doing this it could be you cancer but it's like manifestation banning no don't come back leave me alone I don't want you um Try, I'm trying to protect myself against your energy. That is how somebody is uh, coming up here. Um, somebody knows that your person can feel like they on, you only want them because they are a trophy, they look good, they are a gift to you. Um, you, they, you are very um, possessive or you try to dominate the situation or the relationship. You try to keep it right at the status quo. This is how your person feels. They feel like you don't want the relationship to grow. They feel like you, you have pigeonholed the relationship to make it maybe only, you know, kind of like friends with benefits or um, a look or, you know, a vibe when they're around I don't know something like it's real you know real surface level real um superficial so this person is trying to maybe even banish you cancer I don't know and it could also be vice versa you know um you could be trying to banish this person they're trying to manifest you back you got manifestation power going on in in how you came into the reading you could be trying to manifest this person back or vice versa. Um, the energy between the both of you is um, this relationship happened too fast. Let's take it back to the basics. What's your favorite color? Um, it could have happened too fast. Also, this I'm hearing like this could be a cop out for, um, you know, somebody may have told you this, the relationship is going too fast or it happened too fast or they want to slow it down. But this is sometimes it's a cop out for people who don't have any intention for you or the connection or the relationship. They don't have any agenda, any course of action here. So they, they would like to play with you a while longer. They would like to keep you confused, giving your love, your time, your energy, your effort into the relationship a while longer before you wake up and realize that this is going nowhere fast. Okay. Now, that, that's one way to look at it. And then for some of you, the relationship did happen too fast. So someone wants to slow it down. But there's also an energy of let me play with you just a while longer. Um, but it looks like somebody's saying that's a no-go. That could be you, Cancer. Keep in mind, you got somebody that's, you know, they lie all the time and especially to women. Okay. Uh, once again, yeah, they enjoy your company. Something like a vibe or you're, you're, you're funny, you're smart, you're beautiful. You're everything, but this person doesn't have any intentions for you, for you. You may even be asking cancer or they're asking, did you ever love me? Um, somebody's very confused here. Um, someone is saying, look, I financially support you, so I'm going to do whatever I want. Um, that could be you, cancer, or the other person is saying that. Um, maybe cancer, 
your person is coming to you, giving you a gift. They're a wealthy man. Um, the cards want you to protect yourself against this person um, because their intentions could be selfish, just selfish altogether. You, it, The relationship could have been over, but you manifested this person back um, or they manifested you back because they felt like they were stuck, okay, without you or they just missed and enjoy your company. Um, they lie all the time, especially to women. So just know who and what you're dealing with. Yeah. Um, now they're the chaser. You could have been the chaser at one point, but now they're chasing you or vice versa. Um, this is the energy of somebody being um, jealous. Somebody could be jealous of you guys, you, your relationship or jealous of you all together somebody's praying for your downfall again get an energy of protecting yourself and burning your candles and wearing your crystals um someone could be praying for your downfall so that you could have to run back to them okay um yeah someone feels like we need to have a long talk a heart to heart okay um again someone feels like if there are kids involved here someone saying i use the kids to get to you um if there are not kids involved, um, I don't know if you work with children or someone, you guys are big kids, so maybe somebody uses, you know, like some, some kid stuff. Um, someone is in an energy of, I'll get back to you when I can, okay? So someone is still uncaring um, and, and um, not willing to put the energy effort time that you would put into this um cancer you got some real uh um specific uh, cards for yourself dietary change you need to change your diet and then you got to exercise new exercise program so it might help with your emotions okay and the fact that maybe some of you need to heal heal from the past and that's going to help you um, be true to you really be yourself okay and it's going to help you with spiritual growth and welcoming the new energy into your life okay so um firstly start because when you work out and you change your diet you know um th that blood that's been sitting and resting in your feet for god knows how long is now pumping to you know, all parts of your body, you know, your, the life force, which is blood, it's now running through you and new energy, new ideas, um, newness can come to you when you're stuck stagnant or you're, you're overeating or you're under eating or you're uh, just eating altogether bad food and not exercising and not getting that blood pumping, then you're stuck. And we did have imprisonment. Okay. So, um, if you want, to have some newness come into your life. Um, start with you. Uh, everything is a vibration. So if you, if you're vibing on a different level of, I'm taking care of myself. I am moving my body. I am moving around. The universe can vibe with that and say, okay, well, you know, let me open this door of opportunity. This opportunity. This person is um, moving in this way in this in this light. So let me, you know. Let's, let's help. Let's help this person. But stuck, stagnant, energy, uh, sluggish, overeating. Rarely do you do you see those people, those couch potatoes, get, you know, um, some life-changing download from the universe. It's people who are active and doing something. So make sure you're doing it. That was for somebody. This is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own oracle reading. Just like this, an oracle reading is different from a tarot reading. We did not pull any tarot cards. These are tarot cards, okay? Um, these are oracle cards. But if you want your own oracle reading, go over to the website, book there. They're now on sale. Uh, I will link it below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. You could ask a question or two by clicking um by texting your question to the number below thank you many blessings to you take care